Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our learning guide to Factorio, shall we? So, I'm continuing to just have fun playing Factorio in my own way of make it happen by eyeballing it. <laughs> and um, I wasn't sure if I would continue the series because I know um, there's a lot of people who are play Factorio differently who do things by the numbers. And I got to say, that's awesome. Like, there's so many cool ways to do this game very efficiently. Um, and I just do it my own way. And people had expressed interest in seeing more. So I love the game and I'm going to play some more. But understand that at this point, um, I'm beyond the basics, and I'm not a great Factorio player, especially not in the context of uh, being, you know, perfectly efficient or anything like that. But uh, I've made it much further than this on my own in my Let's Play, and we need to get further so that we can see some more stuff. And to do that, we need Purple Science. So Purple Science is over here, um, and we've got the productivity modules set up so that we can start producing them. In fact, they're right here. Now we need to, over here, bring up a place to build these electric furnaces. So we need circuits, which we have already coming over here, stone bricks and steel plates. So the red boards are already here. And we are pulling them off of this line that we can zone up. So to make... Let's kind of just hash out how this will work. We also have steel right here uh, for the furnaces. We just would need to bring over stone bricks. So that's not too bad. So let's begin by saying, all right, I need red boards. Can I have them? And yes, I can. And then we're going to go like this. And there we go. Red boards coming. And then I need steel and can I have them sure we'll just split it right here like this good okay and then kind of put this over here all right so these are moving in the right direction now I want to make the creation point for this over here so that if I ever need to scale up uh my motor production I can do that by having this space moving upward like that so I'm just kind of kind of keep my channels clear now um, I need to get back into my robot network and that's actually something I should do I should continue um, the robot network so I can you know have my logistics robots and all my buddies helping to top me off, empty out my stuff, all of that. Now they're going, they're doing their thing, and it might be very possible that all of my uh, storage chests are full. Let me see if I have any more I can put down. I'm just going to put down a couple right here. And... Um, Let's see, how are we doing on belts? Okay, we've been topped off on belts. Great. Can I make any more robo ports? I'm going to make one, two. How many robots am I carrying around personally? Uh, I'm going to make some construction robots and some logistics robots. Let me make sure I have enough of my own bots. And good. They're slowly but surely working. All right. You can see all the fun happening here as they take the coal away. I have all this extra coal. Tidy up my inventory.
Excellent, excellent work, everybody. All right. So while I'm down here, let's look at my stone situation. It's right here. So I have some stone, but I'm going to need this stone to come with me way over here. And so I'm going to build this stone lane up high. See if we can do it with this. All right. And then so stone brick will come this way. Yep. And then it's going to move it over here. Okay, and then so we're getting in a situation where we've got stuff in the way. So I'm just going to ghost it in there. My robots will place this and annihilate everything in our path. And let's see. I now, on my person, have um, 10 logistics bots and 27 construction bots. So here, I'm going to uh, take out the logistics bots and take out a good bit of those and put them right there. Fantastic. And I'm then going to say, all right, let me, let me look at my robot network. And we don't have any bots. Uh, that are logistics bots like over here. So I'm going to kind of get this going. Just put this down so that basically... Um, no, I'll put it down. No, no, he's got it. There we go. Whenever I'm over here working on a new portion of the factory, the robots will be feeding me. All right, let's go ahead and put some power up here. There. Wonderful. Now, this is in the way of, you know, scaling up, but we can just move it at that point when we need to. All right, I'm going to go back here, and let's um, let's think about how now we want to do this. We only need to give the assembler these three ingredients, so that's not bad. And then we have to have room for a ramp going away. So let's think about this. We'll have our uh, ramp that's output that's right here. And then, you know, we'll have uh, the fast inserter going over here. And then we can have this here. And we want you to be making us electric furnaces. Good. And you need, as input, uh, we'll just kind of curl that up. You need this. Very nice. And then... Um, wait, 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 I lied. This is not right. This is close. Uh oh. But I want to make sure that. I'm out of this lane. So let me continue this. To here. Okay. So keeping this space free. This is. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to need to scale batteries up that much, so this will be okay for now. And then we can start the fun. So we'll use this steel as our right edge just to know that we're far enough over. Now I'll curl this back here. Okay, great. And then I'm going to transition this to being the output lane. And then I'm going to have my guy here. And then this is going to make electric furnace. And then, okay. 
We'll build one so that we can duplicate this, copy it. All right. I'm going to kind of curl this up like that. And then, honestly, from here, what I'm going to do is uh, drop these on there. So we have two on one belt. And then we need to bring the stone over. So the stone is here. And we could bring it from underneath or we could bring it from up top. I'd like to bring it from underneath. Just so everything is moving in the same direction. So that being said, we have a lot of uh, landmines in the way. But we do have a space up here. So we can just use that. There we go. Now what I could do... Yeah, I have a better plan. I have a better plan. It'll save me some trouble. So this was clever uh, to combine them like this, but instead I'm going to do it like this. And what I'll do is take the stone and put it on the second lane over here instead. So I don't have to build this whole thing that goes over here. All right. Let's get this set up. D -D. All right. Okay, wait. Disaster. Disaster. No, no, no. Weird interaction. Don't want that. Okay. So that was that was foolhardy. Um, all right, let me fix this. Let me make sure that we don't have any stone anywhere in the system here. Okay, good. We don't. All right, so there's fun. There's weirdness that plays around with underground belts. Sometimes when you're turning corners or when you're going through things like a sideways splitter. And so to avoid any shenanigans... Um, and because I can't go underground long enough, I will have to just uh, do this, even though I didn't want to, but I don't have to do it as much. Now, this should theoretically work. And there it goes. So, what I want is to copy this. But then I have to uh, copy that. So what if I then copy all of this? Now I'm going to have to drop in the filling, the missing spaces here, but that's okay. Um, my robots are getting the parts. Give me one moment while all this insanity happens. Okay. So, from here... Here we go. They're coming in with all the parts. Because I built this, I'm in the network, so it just takes them a second. But now we have uh, you know what? I hate to do this, 
but I'm going to. This is pretty terrible how I've done this with a space in between for this, and it makes a space when I copy this. So what I can instead do um, is... take all that down what we need is only this oh wait oh god never mind that was awful what I just did too don't do it don't do it get rid of it okay let me try this again All right, that actually works, I think. I was confused. I thought for a moment that it was uh, copying it where I didn't want it, but no, it's doing it correctly. But all we need to do is add the, the power poles inside. And then we don't have to worry about um, the insanity. of a space. Okay, wonderful. There it goes. Alright, so we now have engines or uh, steel furnaces, rather. How about I say this correctly? We have electric furnaces that are made with steel and we have the productivity modules so now we just need some more stuff, which is rails. Now, I could assemble rails on site, but the thing about rails uh, is they require steel, which we have stone and sticks. So we don't have sticks, and we don't have stone. So I might just create um, a place. Okay, we're missing that. Where... Um, and we're missing that and apparently that all right so this is going and that's fine you could see though immediately we're low on stone and we're low on red boards so we'll need to uh, solidify both of those things and we also need to get in, see where we're producing rail, if anywhere. I also might not have enough stone. Like, it's very real that uh, we need to harvest more stone for both rail and the stone on these furnaces for science. So if that's the case which it looks like it is. Let me just kind of zoom in really fast. And I know I've located, like, yeah, there's some stone here, but then there's baddies, but we can get to that. But is there any other stone that is more readily available? There's uranium. But let's look. That's copper. There's stone way down here. Uh, I mean, that's a lot. Hmm. Well, one option we have is we could go down here to this stone field. And now nah, we just need to send up raw stone. Now, this train right here... Um, only has iron and there's uh, it can't even unload the iron fast enough because all these boxes are full that's a good problem to have We could put another box, like, set of buffers on this train, though. But if I was going to try 
and use this train to bring up the stone, you can see that because of the situation with our iron, it's going to be there forever. Okay, so we're going to need a ton of stone for the rails. Uh, you see how it's, you know, one stone, one plate, one brick for two rails. And then we need stone to make stone bricks, which is two stone. So let's bring that in. Um, I need to get... Yeah, pretty far away. Oh, no, it unloaded. I nearly got killed by that train. All right, well, you know, could be worse. All right, so I have no electric mining drills on me. So let's, before I run down there, let's actually plan this out. Let's be semi-intelligent about this. Oh, I need to make the explosives for all these darn cliffs, too. Where am I on that? Uh, first of all, don't stand on the track. And then let's look at this. It'd be over here. Deep, deep, deep. I have grenades, shotgun shells. Yeah, that's all reasonable. But um, intermediate, no. Production, no. Logistics. Cliff explosives. So we need grenades, empty barrels, and just regular explosives. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really... I'm not really making any of that right now, so... That's a, that's a down-the-road type of thing. It's not a huge concern. I just build around the cliffs. Okay. So, let's instead run up here so that we're in the logistics supply chain and say, all right, what do we need? I'm going to turn off the personal... No, I'm not going to turn this off right now. 400 rail is actually a, a pretty good amount, but I don't need that at the moment. What I need is electric drills. I'll take 40. And they're going to supply me, top me off. But what I need to do is just change this to be like 800 belts. Oh, I didn't confirm it. 800. Give me the belts. Here they come. All right, everybody. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, we've got the drills. We've got the plates back. We have a whole bunch of transport belts. I think once I get over 500, I'll just go down there and see what, what it's going to take. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to leave those guys behind. They're going to be furious about it. But here we go. We've got to make our mission.
Um. Oh, wait. Do we not... Uh-oh. We're out of power. Uh-oh, this isn't even built. Oh my god, it's in shambles. Alright, here, show me. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We lost all our power. Okay, so this is... We're not producing enough power anymore. I wasn't keeping track of the grid. That's my fault. So what we have to do is figure out... Um, here. So the only thing we can do right now is just expedite the fuel process by... Uh, just giving all of these guys as much fuel as we've got. We're going to have to just manually drop off this fuel for now to try to get our uh, power turned on. And this is just the shame and the reality of watching out for your grid. If you um, don't notice that your grid is on the fritz, then you're going to be in a spot like this where you have to kind of go top off your boilers. I mean, if, when you're getting power this way anyway. And this should allow us to get everything going again. Uh, let's see. All right, so let me check this out. Our satisfaction is still wavering a bit, but now we've got some power coming. This is actually accumulating power. All right. And let's just keep going with this. Seeing um, who has power, who needs power. There it goes. It's going fast. Okay. So I need to build more power plants. And we need to get a new source of coal. But we actually have that. Right? Um, so, this is iron, but then there's coal that is supposed to be coming back and feeding all of this. So, let's see what's going on with the coal that's coming in way down here. No. This coal is going on this train. Oh, to go up here, but none of it is coming over here. Okay, so we can start taking from that. But in the meantime, I need to build more power... Um, let me go ahead and make some boilers and some steam engines and all this stuff. Um, okay. No, that's not going to work. And that's not going to work either. Need more space. There is this tree in the way. Okay. So let me go one, two. And two. there. And again, we're out of power. Okay. So the solution is with the coal. You can see we're running low on coal here anyway.
I actually have an okay amount of coal there. Uh, but I might need to go down here and bring up a ton more coal. There's some coal here. It's a lot, but it's right by baddies. Well, one other thing we can do is make burner, um, burner drills. We could even make burner inserters if we had to, uh, so that we never needed power and then could be producing coal coming in. Definitely something we could think about. Okay, our satisfaction is decent, but... I'm going to split off this just temporarily. And get some coal coming back in... ...to town. Okay, and then this should power all of these. Now, this guy is supposed to be bringing iron um, into our world. And is not doing that yet. Oh, no, no, it was. I just had to move it. That's right. I'm like, what's going on here? No, no, yeah, turn it. Oh, boy, there we go. There's iron into our world. Okay, so then I can go here and go one... Two. And then we need to build a power pole here. And we need to build some more of these and more of these. And then if I just drop this down like that. And throw this here and here. Put that there. It's happening. There. Now how we doing, Grid? We're battling. No, I need to go one more down. Actually, here. I'm going to stagger it like this so that I can build it. The water is in the way. Here they come. Ah, uh, here. Guys, I'll... Oh. Um, here, make some of these then. There it is. Now, power, talk to me, talk to me. There it is. That looks way better. But... We've got this somewhat fixed. Um... You know, what I... Yeah. But we're going to need to feed coal back into the main part of the system. Because we're running out. And so our next project is going to be more coal. And that's what it is. Like, I want to 
you know, get going on purple science, but nope, I've got to stabilize my coal coming in uh, to make sure we have enough power. And then I'm going to have to get some stone. So here's stone, here's coal right here. This should be our next project. Get a train going to move both of these things back here so that we can start making everything that we need to grow this factory. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still having fun with this, um, you know, despite my unconventional style for playing Factorio. We are sprawling, we are growing, and we will continue in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.